you fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. This past weekend I did the Lehigh Valley Aquarium Society swap meet. Let's talk about how I did. Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage. Stand by. <laughs> All right, fishy folks, before we get started, we gotta talk about the coldest water. Great cup, had it at the swap meet. It kept to my water ice cold all day long. Left the house at 6.45 and got home at about 6.45. Still icing it, it was spectacular. All right, folks, let's talk about the swap. And I know you guys are gonna ask how much money you made. And I'm actually gonna tell you at the end of the video, so stand by. First, the Lehigh Valley Aquarium Society is a newer club in Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania. Uh, the president is Karen Haas, and she is one of my favorite people ever. Uh, not only is she super smart, but she's super nice, and uh, she does a great job with the club. Unfortunately, the club doesn't have very, very many volunteers, so if you're watching this and you're part of the club, think about stepping up and helping and volunteering for the club if you can. Now, the swap was the biggest it's been. It's in the Coplay Firehouse uh, in Coplay, Pennsylvania. And the, uh, first, a big thank you to the firehouse. They um, cooked all day, selling food as a fundraiser for the firehouse. The burgers were spectacular. They've been average at best, which is pretty much what you'd expect in the past, but I don't know if they used a different burger, a different guy cooking them. It was spectacular. I mean, it could have been because I was hungry AF and it's all I had to eat. So it might have been, you know, subliminal message that it was so good, but I thought it was good. Anywho, uh, I was there in a corner in the second room next to my boy Keith from KGE Aquatics. Uh, Keith and his son Eli were there. They had three or four tables. I had two tables. Uh, I brought about 200 bags. I think uh, 223 was the actual number I came up with. Um, I spent all day on Friday packing. I took off from my real job and I packed fish pretty much all day. And I was dead tired at the end of the day. <coughs> I did over 10,000 steps, pretty much walking back and forth in my fish room, just to give you an example. A um, Couple things, I sold out of blue rams. I almost sold out of the gold rams there. I only brought four of each. Uh, I hardly sold any quarries, which is strange because the last time I brought quarries, I sold a poop ton of quarries. I didn't sell very many Von Rio Tetras. In fact, I think you only sold six. Um, so they'll be going up on the website soon. I did sell a few Colombian Tetras though. They'll also be going up on the website soon because I have some left. Of course, we sold a poop ton of guppies and a lot of plecos. Um, I also pre-bought some plecos from breeders before the show. So we're gonna talk about that as well. So I know you're dying to know how much money I made, and I'm gonna tell you, but first I just wanna thank a spectacular subscriber and his family. They brought me this gift. And of course, it's Star Wars Stormtrooper, and if you look on the chest plate, it has the Michael's Fish Room logo. Uh, so I don't know if I can say your name or not, so I'm not going to, but thank you so much. This is one of my favorite things ever given to me. Uh, also, you can see the asshole has his tank back because he didn't sell. A lot of people came to say hi to him and look at him because he's YouTube famous, but nobody bought him. No actual offers, so maybe because I call him an a-hole? I don't know. I might end up having to keep him. But if you're interested, reach out to me. Let's come up with a deal because I need a tank space. Uh, the overall show was spectacular. Swap meet, I should say, was really nice. Really great. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to see uh, many tables because I was pretty much busy all day. And the little downtime I had, I was um, kind of organizing the table a little bit. I did take you know a few minutes and check email and, and Facebook and stuff, but I really didn't get to see the whole second side of the show because I was too busy. I did see everybody in my area because I was able to walk around and still keep an eye on my table. I do the show alone, so I don't have anyone to watch the table while I was there. Uh, another thing I got at the show was this awesome picture of a Vienna guppy. This is done by a young man named Austin. 
Austin happens to be related to Lisa from Super Cichlids, which is kind of strange, but they are. Anyway, if you're interested in Austin's art, I have a couple other pieces of his. He does a great job. Uh, it's Austin's Aquatic Art. You can check him out on Facebook, Austin's Aquatic Art, or on um, Instagram, or as the kids are saying, Insta. Austin.Ulmer, U-L-M-E-R, on Insta. Uh, he does prints, he has all kinds, and he's also looking for ideas for new artwork, but this Vienna Guppy is spectacular. I have another, I think, Cobra Guppy of his. I just need to get a frame. I don't want to bring it in the fish room because it's so humid down here without a frame. And then I got to find a place to put it. But check out Austin's artwork. He is a great artist. All right. Let's talk about what I got at the show. I didn't uh, buy anything actually at the show for the fish room. Um, but there were some people that were talking about bringing, like they didn't have a, a booth, but they were part of the club and they were gonna bring something to see if anybody was interested in some plecos. I got a bunch of two and a half to three inch male super red plecos. Uh, they're gonna be going up on the website. Uh, hopefully they're on the website by the time you watch this. Um, they're gonna be, you know, a little spendy because they're, it's a confirmed male and they're breeder size. Uh, also, I picked up a few, like 37, Blue Eye Lemon Plecos, which of course I already sell, but uh, I have a breeding group that hasn't bred yet, and because they're too young, and I have some that I get from another local breeder, but I can never keep them in stock, so I, I made a great deal for those. <coughs> All right. Oh, I also bought two breeder size Plecos from uh, one of the vendors, and I flipped them while I was there great deal for me all right let's talk about cash money dollars there's quite a bit of money here um, first off I did purchase a new uh, point of sale system for taking credit cards called Zettle it's from PayPal it worked flawlessly um, but I only had four or five credit card sales and, and one of them one of the credit card sales was or two of them, I should say, was from the same person. He bought a Pleco, and while he was paying for the Pleco, she was looking at guppies, and she bought some Japan blue variated guppies, USA bread, available on michaelsfishroom.com, that happened to drop fry in the bag on the way home. You're welcome. So, my goal for the show was to make $1,000 gross, okay? I'm just going to tell you, I made over $1,000 gross in total. In fact, I made about 30% more. You can do the math. Now, I'm not going to tell you net profit because, that, like I said before, none of your business. But um, I did quite well, and I'm very happy with the show. To be quite honest, as long as I break even at the show, I'm happy because I get to see subscribers. I get to meet people, network see friends that I don't see all the time in person, uh, and I had a great time overall. So it's a lot of work. I'm looking forward to the next show I'm doing. Confirmed is the Keystone Clash in September. I'll be there all weekend to vend. And uh, there is a show up in Albany, I think, in August that I may do, a swap meet in August I may do, because quite frankly, I feel bad. Keith who lives up in, in near Albany, uh, comes down all the time to my area to do shows, so I think I should go up there and do one and hang out with him up in his neck of the woods, if you will. So, folks, that does it. Uh, if you're looking for cool plecos and guppies, quarries, rams, or tetras, check out michaelsfishroom.com. Thanks, as always, for supporting the channel, and have a great, great day. Peace!